What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, you know, um, now I understand what Ticket TV is talking about with a lot of you Kawhi Leonard fans, right? Now, I just did what I normally do, which is my job, which is what we are supposed to do on YouTube, which is give our opinions about things. But what happens is people get in their feelings and then try to make it personal. And that's when I have to block you. So I just said what I have come to the conclusion about. And ain't nothing that you're going to say is going to change my mind. I believe that Kawhi Leonard's tenure with the Clippers has been a failure. It ain't like I, I said it after one season. It's not like I came to that conclusion after two seasons or even three seasons. This was the last year. I've been very clear on this. I said this is the last year I'm going to give Kawhi Leonard a pass. Some people have been gave up on doing that. It's been a failure again. So I said, that's it. It's been a failure because I know that when he came over there and when Paul George came over there, the expectations were that they were going to be a dynasty team winning multiple championships. They were going to take over from the Lakers and probably the Warriors. But ironically, since then, since 2019, both the Lakers and the Warriors have won championships. So how, no matter how much you want to spin it, it's been a failure. Now, has Kawhi Leonard played great individually? Well, when he was available for the first three out of the four years, he played great. But this year, he's showing signs that he's on a decline. Ain't nothing I said in that video that was inflammatory. But somebody, some closet Kawhi freakazoid, all right, got, in, got into a tizzy and spoke from a fucking shadow account, a ghost account, instead of having the balls to tell me what they feel from their real account, and insulted me. So I'm going to come back and insult you. First of all, don't worry about my donations. I'm sick and tired of you niggas worrying about who's donating to my channel. Why is that the first thing you bring up? I don't give a damn if it's a $1 donation or a $3 donation. That's money that someone chose to donate to my channel, and I thank them for it. And since it's such a small amount, then why the fuck does it bother you? Is it because it may be $3 or $5 donations, but it might have been 20 people who did it that day? So it bothers you because you're trying to figure out how much money I'm making? It's none of your concern. It's none of of your business just like i don't care about Kawhi leonard's bank account which you bring up for some reason like a little goddamn girl that's a womanly trait to worry about what a man is making that's what a bitch worry about and most of you niggas got the mentality of bitches <coughs> 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 Talking about Kawhi Leonard as a basketball player and not worrying about his money like a female like you, he is on the downside. The man I told you that he was on borrowed time. I've been saying that since it's been revealed what his injury was back in 2019-20. I've been saying that. He's playing on borrowed time. And the low management thing has extended his career, but ultimately it would start being a problem, and it's a problem. Is he top fifty to me? I, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't think so. You can't miss forty percent of your games, and 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 be top fifty to me, man. And also, has Kawhi, other than that Raptors team, which you only played one year on, has Kawhi ever really been the leader of a team, like a real actual leader, like and has led the team consistently to greatness? 
I mean, think about it. When he won Finals MVP with the with the Spurs in 2014, was he the clear cut best player on that team at the time? I don't think so. I mean, he got other people on the team. It was more of a piecemeal assemblage of, of really good players at the time. By the time Kawhi Leonard pushed himself to be the best player on that team, he was already having problems with the team uh, as far as management is concerned. He was already having problems with management. <coughs> Did he get the best out of this deal with the, the Clippers? He got a hell of a deal. Did he live to his side of the bargain? Nope. Took him two years to come back from an injury that normally takes a year to, to 13 months. And then, you know what I'm saying, he's still low management, man. The guy has been a detriment to the culture of the NBA. He's made low management acceptable. I can really go in on this dude, but I choose not to. But since you motherfuckers want to incur my wrath, I'm, I'm going to start going in on this dude real fucking hard. I'm going to start going on this motherfucker real hard. Real motherfucking hard. And I hope other people do too. Since it makes y'all so fucking mad. So it's all good when I'm going in on LeBron James. It's all good when I'm going in on James Harden. It's all good when I'm going in on other people. But for some reason, when you critique this fucking slope jaw bitch, it's a problem. You know how many times I had to listen to people shit on Russell Westbrook last year and I had to take it because it was the truth? But I make one video about this dude and you you have a hissy fit? Fuck you! You really gonna hate my ass now. I'm gonna go in on this dude every goddamn day. Every time that he play like shit, I'm gonna make a video critiquing his ass. So prepare for it. 